Hello everyone, my name's Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is February 24th, 2022, and Bitcoin is dumping. Uh, this is going to be a quick update, um, not published at the usual time, only because I feel like if I wait until morning, the move will have already proceeded. Um, it may not, but uh, it's possible that it may. So I think that this is a good timely update um, just to, to let everyone know what I'm seeing on the charts. Again, uh, I do believe that this reversal pattern, large, this larger reversal pattern is playing out, okay, right here. And we are actually getting the resumption of this downtrend okay right now okay i uh, if you're subscribed you will know that i've been saying that actually we're going to come up here and then go down okay but that's clearly not the case uh and you'll see i drew this line right here that was where i got stopped out my validation point for you know the idea that this was going to be this was an A wave, we're going to get a B wave coming up and then uh, uh, an impulsive wave down. Uh, however, it looks as if this was your A wave, this was your B wave, and all this is an impulse. And we've never stopped being an impulse. So basically the way I'm looking at it is this, all of this right here was just a wave two. So now we're getting into wave three. Typically, the most impulsive, uh, the longest wave of the Elliott waves, and then we're going to have a small wave four, perhaps, and then a final wave. So that's what I'm seeing. Um, I got stopped out for, you know, a, a big loss, actually, to be honest, uh, bigger than I typically have. Um, but I, that's fine. It happens from time to time. Can't let it happen too often. Um, so my next big trade is going to be a short, and I'm going to tell you exactly where I'm going to short to. Uh, using this line right here that I drew as the neckline, I'm just going to do straight up pattern analysis, and then I'm going to try and find some confluence with Elliott Wave Theory to see about a target to the downside. So um, just doing pattern analysis using this as a neckline, my target's going to be on this chart about 28.8, okay? Uh, and that is within the, uh, sort of that, that is okay. According to Elliott wave theory, which states that the B wave cannot retrace beyond the one, six, one, eight of the A wave. The one, six, one, eight is currently at about 27. So 28, eight would be, uh, between the one, two, three, six and the one, six, one, one, eight. So I think that's likely, especially because as, uh, you know, you all know that all of the support on the down to the downside, um, beyond below this line right here, there's pretty much no support uh, until the 30 to 31 K region. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to enter a short. I haven't yet. I'm basically going to wait until this retests. Okay. So remember, uh, just Typically speaking, once you break strong support, and this line was super strong support, and we also broke this 86-day support, right? This was the line that we were under for 86 days in our downtrend. We were, when we went above it, it became support. As soon as we broke that, I was almost uh, sure, right? A high probability that we're going to continue down, and this, this whole thing is going to be an impulse. Rather, this whole thing is going to be an impulse. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing on the charts, and that's why I'm seeing it. Two very staunch support lines, trends rather, broken. So I think it's basically a straight up move to the downside. Uh, so what I'm going to do for my entry is wait till the retest of this support, because we broke this support, but we broke this one first, right? We broke that one first. So... I think that that has to be retested first. And if we pull the fibs, uh, just zooming in for a second, and this all this is clearly an impulse, right? So uh, judging by this last candle, 
and this volume uh, bar, this is a five wave sequence, right? And probably going to put in a two wave up here. So judging by that, I'm going to take the fibs and run it from the top to the bottom of this impulse. And I see that the 382, which is the minimum retracement of the two wave, is right at this uh, resistance right now it's resistance because we're below it so i'm going to make my entry around here um around this 382 uh to the downside so that's my next trade that's why i'm taking it uh that's what happened just to update everyone a quick short video hope this was helpful hope this was useful like the video if you got value share if you think other people will also get value from this kind of analysis and subscribe if you're not already subscribed we'd love to have you good luck trading and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye